uh, yeah, Paul Baker. Yeah, I'm very sad. Of course, the Daily Mail's editor, after how many years? 26 years. 26 years. He steps down in November. He's 70 in November. Paul he Dacre, says it's yeah. a good time to go, Paul Dacre. He shares a birthday with the Prince Charles. and They're exactly the same age. But Paul Dacre has been quite a divisive figure in the yeah. world of, <laughs> oh, of absolutely. newspapers, yeah. Kevin. He's, I mean, yeah. there will be people who enjoy reading the mail and people who work for the mail, and clearly who will be mourning his yeah. going, but there will be a lot of people who will be thinking, right, great, this could be a time for the tone of the newspaper to change potentially, or, or a big sea change there? No, absolutely. He was, he was the godfather of Fleet Street, hugely influential, but he was massively controversial, and he divided people, and there will be people who work in public services, teachers in the NHS, there will be refugees, asylum seekers, there, there will be trade unionists, uh, there will be Ed Miliband, who got very unfair treatment, I thought, at the time, uh, who will be absolutely celebrating mm. now. Well, the, that I mean, going. one of the, th I mean, whatever mm. you might think about Paul Dacre and the direction that he's taken the paper, the Stephen Lawrence Amazing. investigation and his boldness yeah, if, uh, if over that. If Paul Dacre hadn't put the faces of those men on the accused front page of the Daily Mail, yeah. accused of killing, they would probably yeah. still not be in prison. And don't, let's forget very recently, yeah. there's been a remarkable yeah. campaign on plastic. That was the mail in the lead and the, even the United Nations have praised the Daily Mail Support. for its campaign. Uh, and, well, you know, uh, well, yeah, United for him now from well, Theresa. Look, people get nightmares for very strange things, don't they? But, yeah. I mean, if it's for services to journalism... There's some interesting speculation about who might follow him. Uh, Stig Abel tweeted last night, George Osborne tonight at his desk, drumming his fingers mm. thoughtfully, hashtag Daily Mail, and then George Osborne replied brilliantly, uh, actually, I'm watching Love Island. Yes, yeah. George Osborne is editing the, the Evening Standard. Standard. Some might argue, not well. He's still doing his work experience. I mean, yeah, he's exactly. not ready. Yeah. Can I tell you exclusively who <laughs> is definitely not going to be? Me. Right. They ain't offering it to me. There's not, not a chance. Are not you ruling it on then? No, no, but no, no, no. no. Are you My ruling yourself out officially? You would like to rule they yourself would, out? I wouldn't even get. I wouldn't even get into the waiting room. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm ruling myself out from playing for number yeah, yeah, nine yeah. for England in the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> you probably do better than the number. Um,